Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip, and what we have for sale here today is a Sakai SB201 TB uh, vibratory pad foot compactor. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine, the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. Price on a new unit like this these days is about $110,000. Uh, this machine cu currently has 1,601 hours on what we believe is a uh, current hour, uh, accurate hour meter. As far as Sakai goes, uh, they're number one. They're the number one producer worldwide of compaction equipment. Um, the weight of this machine is 9,850 pounds. The widest point is the outside of that trunnion assembly. There, it's uh, five foot four inches. Highest point is the top of that cab at 8 foot 5 and the transportation length from the back of that counterweight to the front of this cutting edge is 16 and a half feet. Comparable machines are like a, a CAT CP323 which is a 48 inch compactor or a 433 which is a 54 inch or a HOM3307. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine like most of the machines we purchased is an original owner Dallas Texas machine with no rust. I mean, you got surface rust here, but that's just from the from the paint. This we're far enough south and 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. This machine comes from a large, well-organized contractor here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that had a comprehensive maintenance program that rivaled some of the best I've seen. Uh, we, as well as our customers, have been happy with all the machines we've purchased from these guys, and it should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics uh, inspect it thoroughly first, and then if the numbers are right, then I go out and inspect it before I write a check. If there's anything wrong with the machine, uh, we just simply don't buy it. As far as options go, uh, this machine has got a uh, strike-off blade. Disconnect somewhere. I'm not sure where that is, but uh, this engine is a Cummins uh, B33C. It's a gross horsepower rating of uh, 60. The uh, it's got a 26 gallon uh, hydraulic tank. I mean a uh, fuel tank. Which will run you 12 to 14 hours depending on your application. Uh, this machine is mechanically sound. It's no there's no leaks. Everything on it works. Top speed is uh 4.5 miles an hour. The tires are about 70% as you can see. That's on the tire. See the other tire there? Uh, they all match. They're, they both match rather. They're solid tires. Hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in the work equipment. The pins and the bushings are relatively tight. There's no deflection in that uh, kingpin area. I will say that they adjusted these uh, these striker bars or these cleaner bars are just a little too close to the blade. You can see you can adjust these. They've got the, you can see where they're kind of rubbing. I mean that's not a big deal. You just back these off or yeah, they'll eventually wear themselves clean but these are new striker blades. So um, this uh, this is a 54 inch drum. It's 54 inches across and it's 40 inches tall. The pad depth, pad depth is two and three quarter inches. This dozer blade height is one foot six inches and it's five foot two inches across. We're gonna run it in the next clip. Alright, 
so as far as the cap goes uh, you got a little door right here for battery you got a little door right here for your uh, cut off your fuel I guess or hydraulic line I don't know what that valves for uh, this is for uh, your vibration sets your vibration there's your instrument gauge all those gauges work I'll try to turn this light on I don't know if it's gonna come out for the glare I don't know if that's coming out but, um, this is your blade this controls your blade this I guess is a little bit of a break there's your electrical assembly there's your key right there uh, like I say all the gauges are 